Hi everybody, I am so excited to share with you my completed Stamperia Songs of the Sea mini album and treasure chest. This is my first project for 2024 and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So this is the treasure chest. There is a tutorial to show you how to decorate the chest. And this is the mini album. There is a complete flip through video on my channel if you want to see the inside pages. In this video, I'm going to go through all the supplies that you will need to make this album and to make this chest. If you only want to make the album, you can do that. If you only want to make the chest, you can do that. But if you want to make both, there's tutorials that covers the whole entire project. Stay tuned for the supply list. And then if you are looking for the tutorial, there is a complete playlist and I will link that in the description box below. Also, all of the products are available on the Scrap and Create website. So everything I'm going to go through next will be linked in the description box. But if you want to see the products that you'll be using, stay tuned. As always, we will be going through the products available first on the Scrap and Create website. So first I have the 12 by 12 and by eight by eight papers. We'll be using the 12 by 12 double faced sheets. So these are the pattern papers. And then we have the 12 by 12 background sheets. And then I have the same thing in the eight by eight. So I have the eight by eight backgrounds and the eight by eight double faced sheets. I will also be using the collectibles for some fussy cutting. So if you follow any of my tutorials, you know that I love to add fussy cutting in. So that's what we'll be using for this. Now for embellishments, there are a ton of different things with this line. So I have three of the embellishments, but there are several to choose from. So I have the wooden shapes here. I have this set. I think there's a second set of wooden shapes or maybe there's actually two more sets. Like there might be two more sets. And then I have the ephemera here. So these are the adhesive paper cutouts. And then I have these ones that are the chipboard pieces. So I will link all of these because there are a couple of each of these packs. So these specific ones will be linked in the description box below. But if you go to the Scrap and Create website, they have a ton more stuff to go with this collection. So if you want to add more, by all means, look at what's available and select some of those. When you order a bunch of a collection like this from Scrap and Create, they will give you coordinating charms to go with it while their supplies last. So these are the charms that go with the collection. So we've got some steampunk themed gears and the seahorse, which looks like we've got a shell, an octopus, a ship wheel, a mermaid, a starfish, all kinds of really cute little charms to go with the collection. So I will be using some of those in the album too. Since it is steampunk, I'm going to add some more metal type embellishments. So I've picked up some Graphic 45 ornate metal keys. I might use one or two of these and then I will probably use these on another project in the future. So I'm not gonna use all of those. And then I've got my Graphic 45 antique brass cloth feet here that I'm going to use on the box that I'm going to create for this album to be stored in. And finally, we have our basic gray magnet. So I have the pack of 20 here. This is from Scrap and Create. So I will link those on their website. For the cover of my album, I'm using one of my laser cut wooden covers. I have already assembled it for the tutorial. I forgot to video it when it was unassembled. So this is what it looks like assembled. If you purchase this from my shop, it will come in this back panel piece with the cover. With the wrap, it comes with a spine piece and then it comes with the front cover and you will assemble it with these pieces of cardstock that is not provided in what I sell. If you do not want to use this cover, if you don't want to purchase one from my Etsy shop, you don't have to. You can use chipboard pieces instead. You'll just need a front and back cover and a spine piece, and then you can create something kind of like this. It won't have this flexible spine piece, but you can create a similar look. In addition to the cover, I am going to be making a box here. This is also made out of MDF. So it was cut on my laser cutter. And this is what I'm going to be placing my album in when it is finished. So I will be decorating this 
in a separate video. So if you want to see how I make this, it will be separate since it's not actually part of the album itself. Now you do not have to purchase this, but if you do want to, it is available in my Etsy shop. I will link that in the description box below as well. It will come unassembled. There are a ton of pieces. It does take a lot of time to make this. I am not doing a video showing you how to put it together, but it will come with instructions that show you the steps for putting this together. So you can go ahead and check that out if you are interested, or you can make your own box. You can repurpose a box that you have at home, or you can make a box from chipboard if you choose to do so. Now for my base pages, I'm going to be using some craft cardstock. I have a 50 pack here from Michaels. It's 65 pounds. You can use whatever cardstock you prefer though. And if you don't like the craft cardstock, you can always pick a different color. So matching the collection, you can pick white, you can pick cream, you can pick a blue color. If you like black, go ahead and use black. Whatever you prefer is perfectly fine, but I like the craft, especially for this project. So that's what I will be using. I always start with the 50 pack. We probably will not use all these sheets, especially since I will be using a cover that I've already made. Like I said, I won't be using as many sheets because I'm not going to be wrapping my cover. If you are not going to be purchasing my wooden wrap cover to make your album, you will also need some chipboard sheets to create your album. So you want to go ahead and grab some of those. I'm going to be using some twine. I just have some natural twine here. You can pick a color if you want. This I will be using for some of those charms and maybe some other things. And then I have pulled these little flat back pearls. These are in different colors of blue. I have a select few packages of these available in my Etsy shop as well. So if you are interested in using these, then you can go ahead and purchase those. I will use these throughout the album as decoration, but if you have others that you have in your stash, you can feel free to use those. We will need a scoring board with a scoring tool. Mine is also a paper trimmer. If yours is not, you will definitely need a paper trimmer as well. You're going to need a ruler. I highly recommend a bone folder, your piercing tool. Then I've got two pairs of scissors. I've got my regular scissors and my fussy cutting scissors. And then I forgot to bring this in when we were talking about the stuff from Scrap and Create. So I'm going to bring this in now. This is a new product from Stamparia. It is a ceramic cutter pen. So it has a tip on it that is supposed to help with being able to cut out intricate shapes. So since I will be doing a ton of fussy cutting, I'm going to try this pen out and fussy cut some of those shapes with that to see how I like that compared to my fussy cutting scissors. So if you are interested in purchasing this, I will link this in the description box below from the Scrap and Create website as well. Next, I have my adhesive. Uh, if you follow my tutorials, you know I typically use tacky glue, so I have it here. And then this is from scrapbook.com. I got this for free when I purchased something at Christmas time, and I'm trying it out. I haven't decided yet what I think of it. Um, it is a very fine tip nozzle on here, kind of like the art glitter glue, but um, definitely it's not art glitter glue inside, so it's a different brand. I think it's the scrapbook.com version of that. So I'm trying this out just to see what I think. Haven't decided yet, so I have both of them here because if I don't like this, I will definitely be using this. And I have a little thing of brads here. These are from Hobby Lobby. They're just different colored metal brads. They're kind of small. I just pulled these out just in case I need to use these for swing tabs or when I put my charms on because I like to have them around. If I don't use these, I will take this out of the list with all of the supplies. My album, I did use my Cropodile and I used a couple of the larger size and a couple of these smaller size eyelets for my tags and for hanging some of my charms. 
However, if you don't have a crop dial, you don't have to go out and buy one. You can just pierce holes in the paper and string your string through those. You can use a hole punch. So don't worry about buying this if you don't have it, but if you do have one, it definitely will come in handy when you make your album. And if you are going to be making the treasure chest box that's available in my Etsy shop. You might also want to get paint and a paintbrush. So I have this um, tarnished brass distressed paint here. It's a goldish brass color that I think goes really well. Anytime I do anything steampunk, I definitely like to use something like this. So that is going to be used just to paint like the hinges and the clasp on the front of the box. However, you can leave that box plain if you want to. You can paint it a different color if you want to. So it's really up to you. And if you're not making that treasure chest, you will not need this paint at all for just making the album. Those are all the supplies that you will need to make your own Stamperia Songs of the Sea mini album and treasure chest. Don't forget to check out the links in the description box below where you can pick up all the products that are available on the Scrap and Create website, as well as the wooden cover and the wooden box from my Etsy shop if you are interested in purchasing those and following along. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.